Elon women's basketball team comes into this season with some big shoes to fill. With the departure of last year's leading scorers, Kelsey Evans and Allie Ford, Coach Charlotte Smith knows those big shoes can be filled with this team. Moving forward without Allie and Kelsey, you know, you, it's like you pass the torch. And I think Kelsey Harris, Samantha Kofer, and Zora Stevenson will all do an outstanding job of leading the team this upcoming season. Um, they provided great leadership thus far, and they're seasoned, they're veteran players as well. They all have experience out there on the court, and so they've done a great job of leading the younger players. With the departure of last year's seniors, the team is left with five upperclassmen on a very young team. And those upperclassmen know they have to step up to be the leaders now. We recognize that we, we've lost um, some seniors from last year, um, and our underclassmen are going to be a, a major part of our team this year. And just knowing that if we can be leaders and help them become adapted to you know, our new system and know like the college system even better, then we have a better chance of succeeding this year. Uh, it's all come so fast. I just remember when I was coming in as a freshman, and so I'm taking this year just remembering how the leaders were with me and how the juniors and seniors acted when I came in as a freshman. And so they were very patient, they were very welcoming, and so I'm trying to um, have all those factors that the upperclassmen had when I was a freshman, and I'm trying to initiate that um, within our freshmen and our sophomores this year. So just kind of remembering how I was treated and treat those underclassmen the same way. One of those upperclassmen, Kelsey Harris, has received preseason accolades from the media. Harris was named to the preseason All-Southern Conference team and her coach knows it was well deserved. Kelsey Harris, I mean, she's the rock of this team and she's been one of those types of players that has always been in the shadows and, you know, at the end of every game we would grade, we have a grading system and Kelsey Harris, you know, would most of the time always win out on the grading system and she does a lot of intangible things that go unrecognized. And so I think, you know, she's always been that rock for this team. She just hasn't gotten the recognition. And I think this year, you know, now that she's a senior, she's now in the, in the spotlight. And I think she's ready to stop, uh, step up and shine. Um, it means a lot just knowing that other people recognize um, my hard work and just knowing that it's my senior year. And it, it feels good being my last year to get that. Uh, and just knowing that it's, it's preseason. Nobody's played a game yet. So. Um, it might actually put a target on my back for other teams. Um, but just knowing that I still have to go out there and work hard in the games and practice too. Looking at the schedule, this year, like last year, the team has set up a tough non-conference schedule, playing against big teams such as NC State and Vanderbilt. Junior Sam Kofer knows this schedule will help set them up for Southern Conference play. I think a tough non-conference schedule definitely helps prepare us for the SOCON. The, I mean, the teams in the SOCON are a great competition, so it prepares us to play teams like Vanderbilt, West Virginia, NC State, you know, UNC Wilmington. I think those are all, um, they're reality checks for us, definitely, so we know what we're up against. And we, it really, playing good, great teams like that can point out your weaknesses and show you what need, you need to work on. So I think those games are important to have before you go into conference play. With this being the last year playing in the Southern Conference, everyone on the team has the same goal. Go out on top. Definitely to leave the SOCOM with a bang. We definitely want to win a SOCOM championship. And, you know, we're just going to go out there and grind it out day in and day out and just take it one game at a time and see, you know, where it leads. I think we have the potential to be a really great team and hopefully that manifests itself into a Southern Conference championship.